Peter Meyer, Chelsea Gearing, and the best man, Stephen Smith. Our matron of honor, Janelle Keish, and the best man, Dan Boyd. Flower Girl, Miranda Hunter, and Ring Bearer, Colton Trudell. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor and a privilege to present to you Justin Leone and Holly Gary Leone. take your seats. We're gathered here to celebrate the very special love between Justin and Holly. They were married on September 9, 2018. Today in front of everyone no, today in front of everyone they cherish. Yeah. <clears throat> they will be reaffirming their vows and performing a unity planning ceremony to celebrate their marriage and they are so joyful that you can all be here with them. Before we get to the vow renewal, thank you. Hello? Okay. I can't hear it, so. Before we get to the vow renewal, let me tell you a little bit about the happy couple. As most of you are aware, they met online. Holly, having recently moved back to Michigan after completing her AmeriCorps service in graduate school, decided to try online dating to meet people outside of her current circle and happened to match with a guy named Justin. Whose passion for dogs, nature, and public service made her realize they should talk. Justin, who had recently finished his bachelor's and was early in his career, had also decided to try online dating with some encouragement from his friend Dan. Justin was a little weary about who he might meet via the internet, but was very pleased to match with Holly, who he confirmed was not a robot, nor living in China. <laughs> and they had many shared interests. It turned out that those shared interests were the spark of their very special bond. And before they knew it, they were planning hikes, meeting friends and family, taking long walks with Holly's fur baby, Lou, who decided that Justin was only around to play with her. <laughs> it did not take long for them to recognize that special bond. And true to their shared love of nature, they declared their love for, they declared their love for one another in the beautiful Elizabeth Park along the Detroit River. They even got engaged at the Manistee National Forest along the Manistee River. And sticking with that theme, they were married at that first park under the trees where they first said, I love you. While they are thrilled to already be husband and wife, they miss getting to celebrate with all of their friends and family. Which brings us here, where we will witness as they repeat their vows and take part in a unity ceremony and celebrate their marriage. Holly and Justine, are recommitting themselves to one another. So I call upon them now to state their promises before their, before their family and friends, that pledge that will bind them together. Holly, I feel like I've known you forever. I remember hanging in a hammock with you on the edge of Little Wolf Lake, <laughs> thinking about how much I loved you and how excited I was for our future. How happy I was sitting out there picking out colors, planning furniture arrangements after you asked me to move in with you and your family. 
Polly, I love your intelligence, your humility, your kindness, and the way you apologize to inanimate objects. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you laugh and smile, your soft hair, those big, beautiful blue eyes. I love and am constantly amazed by your strength and inner and outer beauty. Polly, I vow to continue to love and support you on your best migraine day and your worst. To be your partner in camping, hiking, and occasionally even kayaking and swimming. <laughs> I still promise to work on my driving and in all the little and big things that I keep forgetting or messing up. I still promise to live my life more in the moment with you and to worry about the future less. I vow to continue to be the best fur parent to Lou that I can be, even if she still has me wrapped around her paws. <laughs> <laughs> and I still promise to stand by your side during all the ups and downs that life has in store for us. Most importantly, Holly, I vow to continue to cherish you and to love you and to be your loyal partner, friend, and confidant from now and for the rest of our lives. Holly, I love you. You're amazing. And I am so lucky to be yours. My dear, I'll never forget falling in love with you because it felt so incredibly foreign and natural at the same time. Being with you made me realize that this is how love is supposed to be. And it's such a beautiful thing. Our love is such a special wonder. It seems as if I've always known you and that being with you is meant to be. Justin, you are my nerdy soulmate my much-needed reminder to be a little less serious and laugh more. I love your smile that lights up your whole face, the long, meaningful conversations we have, and how sweet you are with Lou Puppy, who wants me to tell you she loves you too today, by the way. <laughs> I love our adventures, great and small, whether we're out enjoying nature, making messes in the kitchen, cooking things, or even just enjoying one another's company on the couch. On a more serious topic, Words cannot describe how incredible you are for supporting me through my constant migraines, pressure, headaches, and associated symptoms. Never once have you let me feel bad for my body not allowing me to do activities we were looking forward to. You're the best, being so flexible with our plans and we're ever letting me feel like I'm missing out on life with you. Justin, you are my, as the French say, joie sans fin, or joy without end and I couldn't be luckier to have you in my life. I still promise to love you as you deserve to be loved, with admiration, joy, respect, and compassion. I still promise to be fearless and consistent in loving you for who you are now and who you are yet to become, and to not only grow old with you, but to grow with you. <coughs> I still promise to practice patience and <coughs> communication and be mindful of when my First, when life is difficult. I still promise to nourish your passions from watching, watching the Red Wings, playing video games, and even airsoft, no matter how much room it takes up in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I promise to remain optimistic in the face of adversity and to find happiness even in the darkest of times by remembering to turn on the light. Justin, I'm so thankful to be spending the rest of my life with you and to be enjoying our special and timeless love always. <laughs> Holly and Justin will now take part in a uni unity planning ceremony. That's such a tongue twister sometimes. Holly and Justin will now take part in a unity planning ceremony and symbol to symbolize the roots of their relationship and the continued growth of their love. They specifically chose to plant a butterfly bush. Its beautiful flowers brighten up life just like Holly and Justin do for each other. Its food will support butterflies just as Holly and Justin support each other. They will be planting this bush in their backyard to always remind them of the bond they share. Holly and Justin, long before the two of you had the pleasure of knowing each other, your families provided you with the foundation of love and support, which has made you the people we see today. To honor those families, to honor those families and all that they have given you, you each will start by adding a dirt. For, you will each start by adding dirt from your childhood homes. Just as your families have been the foundation of who you have become, 
This dirt will represent the foundation of your new family. <laughs> Love is the essence of human experience and emotion. It is the root of all and everything we, as humans, do. Love enriches our experience and fills our lives with meaning. It gives us a firm base from which to grow, to learn, and change. Let your relationship and your love for each other be like this butterfly bush you plant today. Let it grow tall and strong. Let it stand tall during the harsh winds, rains, and storms, and let it come through unscathed. Like a plant, your marriage must be resi resilient. It must weather the changes of daily life and the passage of time. And just like this butterfly bush that you're planting, marriage requires constant nurturing and nourishment. Please remember to nourish each other with words of encouragement, trust, and love. This is needed on a daily basis so you each can grow to your fullest potential. Holly and Justin, would you please water the bush? <laughs> Holly and Justin, you may now kiss to seal your vows. <laughs> 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 now go celebrate with your family and friends. <laughs>